Hey guys, welcome to Meow Club. I've got a deck tech for you tonight. Um, it's a deck I I actually built it <laughs> in an instructional video to show people how to build commander decks. Um, but it's actually turned out to be pretty sweet and pretty fun. Um, I didn't even sleeve it as you could see. Um, but I thought it warranted its own deck tech. So I played it the other day and it was really fun and it just won the game out of nowhere. Um, so, and it's so cheap. So if you're looking for a good deck for a beginner um, or just a really cheap fun deck that you don't have to sleeve, uh, you probably should sleeve it. I'm pretty naughty not doing that, but it's a blue-white Noyandar deck. So whenever I cast an instant or sorcery, you may put three 1-1 one, one counters on target land you control. If you do, it becomes a 0-0 zero, zero elemental creature with haste that's still a land. So that's great. We just get creatures for free from casting instants and sorceries. And um, the thing we do have to watch out for is destroy all creatures. But we're running a lot of counter spells, which really suits the deck because it stops our opponents doing what they want to and makes us a creature and hopefully stops our creatures getting blown up as well. So yeah, um, let's check out the deck. So we start out with the basic lands. We've got a load of islands and we've got some plains. Um, Non-basics, we're not going crazy, but we've got Sajiri Refuge, Tomb of the Spirit Dragon. This is an awesome card. Pay two and tap it. We gain one life for each colorless creature we control. And all of our creatures will probably be colorless because they're lands. Blighted Cataract. We can drop, sack it to draw some cards. Azorius Guild Gate. Tranquil Cove. Meandering River. Azorius Chancery. Encroaching Wastes. And let's go to the one minor spells. We have a null, um, a lot of artifacts and enchantments are really powerful in Commander, so you want to be able to counter them for one blue. Syncope is a counter spell unless they pay X and the spell gets exiled. Turn aside for one counter spell that targets our permanent. Divine Light prevents all damage that would be dealt to creatures you control this turn. Serum Visions, this is one of the more expensive cards in the deck. Um, I'd say looking for a budget option, use Opt or anything really. You could put in another, another counter spell. I mean, I had one of these lying around, so I threw it in. Pay No Heed, this is really useful for keeping us alive and preventing our creatures dying. Judge's Familiar, really awesome one drop. Um, stops people doing a lot of the stuff they want to do. Preordain, great card. We should put Brainstorm in here too, but Essence Scatter is pretty useful. Um, disperse, return a non-land permanent to its own hand. Azorius Charm, now this is a very useful spell. So we can give our creatures lifelink, draw a card, put target attacking or blocking creature on top of its own library. So just really great defensive card. Familiar's Ruse, <clears throat> return a creature you control to its owner's hand to counter the target spell. Prohibit, that's another counter spell. In a Keetra's name, pump spells, mass pump spells are really great in this deck. This is one of the reasons I won the other day. Overrules a counter spell and we gain a little life. Dispel counters an instant. Disdainful Stroke is a great card. We counter a big spell for or greater. Gleam of Authority, so this is awesome in the deck. The enchanted creature gets one. <coughs> oh, bless me. I sneezed. Enchanted creature gets 1-1 one, one for each 1-1 one, one counter on other creatures you control. It also has Vigilance and one white tap to bolster one. So, because we're making 0-0 zero, zero creatures with 3 counters on every time we cast an instant or sorcery, that gets pretty insane. New Prof Gilmage, he's a great um, defensive and offensive card for us, just really versatile. 
Azorius Signet probably needs some more mana rocks in here actually. That's one thing I'd say to add in. Brave the Sand gives our creatures vigilance. Safe Passage prevents all damage to them. We've got a Reflector Mage just because he's a great card. Sheer Drop, destroy a tapped creature and we can awaken if we pay six for it. Steady Progress, proliferate, draw a card. Another Pump Spell, this is awesome. The great thing about the Pump Spells in this deck too is they make an extra creature. So you might want to cast them pre-combat for the final blow. Cancel, as I said, one of my favorite spells to include in a Commander Blue deck because it's just an unconditional counter. Here's one, a group hug counter. Another counter spell. Daxos of Miletus, he's just a fun card to have in here. Always watching is great, pumps the team and they get 1-1 one, one in Vigilance. Kefnet's great in this deck because we often have seven or more cards in hand. We're often waiting till just before our turn to cast stuff. And he lets us draw a card and return a land. We control to a hand at instant speed. So if somebody does a kill target creature, destroy target creature on our one of our lands, we can return it to it, its hand. Another really interesting thing that came up with him is I was playing against a merfolk deck and they had lethal with their creatures with island walk and I had eight mana so I returned my two islands to my hand so they no longer had island walk at instant speed and then I was able to block their creatures and they didn't win and I won next turn. <laughs> As foretold is awesome because we're running a lot of instants and sorceries um, we can just cast them in all of our opponent's turns, um, I would say. This is one of the more expensive cards in the deck, but it's definitely worth it. Kithion's Tactic, nice pump. And it gives the creatures vigilance if we have Spell Mastery. Same, similar thing, I added this in after the last game, because these kind of spells are really just what's going to win you the game. Academy Elite, so... We're going to profit from instances of sorceries, soul binders, um, number of other creatures on the battlefield, overwhelming denial. I just like this spell. Plea for power is great for commander. Mirror weave is an interesting one. Enhanced awareness for some card draw. Guardian of the Gateless, um, he is quite handy because I can cast one of these prevent all damage spells and have him block everybody. Just a good card for keeping us alive until we have the win con. Sawblade Jin, this is pretty insane um, with all the creatures we're going to be making. We've got Rout, destroy all creatures, um, that's our panic button. Munda's Vanguard may not seem like a auto-include, but the fact that our commander is an ally means we can just put a 1-1 one -one on all our creatures by tapping him. Migratory Route, make four birds with flying. Mnemonic Wall, I think this is just a great card for pretty much all commander decks. It means we can get back a board wipe or a card draw spell. I would put this in most blue decks that are running instances of sorcery um, that matter. This is great because it doesn't destroy our land creatures, so that's a one-sided board wipe right there. True Conviction. In fact, I'm going to have to put in the new card, um, the card from, I think it's Armin Cat, no, Hour of Revelation because that's a same effect, but we could cast it for cheaper. Creatures we control have double strike and lifelink. That's pretty nice. I put this in most blue-white decks just because it's a really fun card. I love alternate wing cons. It's not really relevant to the deck, so if you're looking for something to swap out, this could be it. Put in a mana rook or something. Sunscorch region, it's just an awesome card. And it helps us gain life, stay alive. 
Opportunity, yes please, let's draw four cards. Solar Tide, destroy all creatures with power two or less, or destroy them with three or greater. Great versatile card. Sphinx of Magosi, because I love him. Rise from the Tides, another alternate wing condition. Amiria Shepherd, um, I've just added her in, but I think she could be pretty awesome. Approach of the Second Sun, another alternate wing con. So we're trying to surprise our opponents here. I think it's always good to have a few win cons in your deck. And a treasure cruise, finally. So that's the deck. Let me know what you think, guys. It's super fun to play. It's super cheap to build. Um, I really recommend it. Uh, let me know what you think. Goodbye.